Hi. Welcome back to the Things I Like series. And today I'm going to be talking about another thing I like. And today we're going to be talking about doing nothing. Isn't it amazing just not to do anything? Like, it's incredible. Like, I would totally not do anything right now, but I want to make this video which is just like the opposite of doing nothing, but like, it's almost like doing nothing. I find it fun. So yeah, we're chilling. We're having a good time. Let's do it. Boom, so let me paint the scene for you guys. I made all the beats I need to make this week. I talked to all the people I need to talk to this week. My YouTube videos are uploaded. One is in the making right now. I'm writing it, I'm formatting it. I have all the memes and crap I want to use in it. I'm chilling. I'm having a good time. I got my food from the place I usually eat at, and I'm set. I'm going to eat my food, order a movie on PlayStation, and just relax. I am chilled, right? Then, boom, your job calls you back and asks if I'm going to come back in because Joshua can't come in today, and you're just chilling, and you don't want to do anything, but you're like, damn, Joshua ain't coming in today, huh? That's too bad. And you just hang up the phone and you just don't go in. Because you like to do nothing. I want time to do nothing. I did all the work I need to do today. Why can't I have time to just relax and not have that much going on? Let me break it down. You get 24 hours in a day. You work 6 to 8 of those hours. Alright, so now you got about 16, right? And then you go to school for about three so now you're, you're out you, you, you pretty much you got only your evening and you only got like four hours to do whatever you want and then you got like the rest of sleep right most people don't have it like that to do nothing they have kids they gotta cook they gotta clean up a little bit and then they literally just shower and go to sleep like that's that's it and most people need time to do nothing. They need time to focus on nothing, think about nothing, and just unwind. But most people don't even get the luxury of doing that. And I much value my time to do nothing. And I believe that it is a given right to literally do absolutely nothing valuable with parts of your time. It's your time. Why can't I use it? It's my time. Why can't you use it? Let's just use our time to not do anything let's just focus on nothing right i don't drink i don't party i don't do anything that fun all right i like my music i like my youtube videos i like to write that's what i do with my time those are doing stuff i almost equate it to doing nothing because i find it fun and it's their hobbies of mine that I can monetize a little bit, but they don't make me a lot of money. So I'm pretty much just doing not that much. But doing nothing, just laying there and watching TV is so incredible. And ever since I started doing that more, I am 14 times healthier. Which a doctor has never said, you're Solomon, you've, you've gotten 14 times healthier. I don't know how to gauge how healthy I was before I gotten 14 times healthier, but I feel 14 times healthier. You know, I used to subscribe to the philosophy of those Instagram people, those motivational Instagrammers, those motivational YouTubers, and it's not motivational. It's not realistic at all, pretty much. Like, oh, grind so hard, mother efforts want to find you. Like, first of all, you're saying the lyrics wrong. It's find me. Second of all, I just want to do my thing and have a good time doing it and live a nice life. <laughs> no one's trying to get so rich out here that they have gray hair when they're 32 and they have a 3 Series 2016 BMW because they work so hard. No one wants that. You think you want it now, but no one really wants it. Grind culture has totally messed up the minds of many millennials. And we do work hard naturally as like a, a prerequisite. We work really hard, but there are those who think they have to do a whole bunch more to try to accelerate themselves faster. Nice to subscribe to that. 
I was 23 years old and I had extremely high blood pressure. My blood pressure was awful. My heart was like muscular and I had to get an, is it an echocardiograph? Cardiogram? Get mammogram, man? I don't know. It was something like that. I got one of those and I was clinically depressed. Like I would, I, I know why I was depressed and I was sad, but like that wasn't helping me. Just literally not getting anywhere and working extremely hard to get a goal that really wasn't there yet or set out for me. I didn't even know what I wanted. It was killing me on the inside. Then I had my siblings at the pressure of trying to get a degree while trying to work and not having enough money to get my degree. And I was always doing something. Even when I wasn't doing that much, I was always doing something. It made me shut down. I didn't want to make music anymore. I didn't want to write any. I needed a solution to my problem. And the solution was to take a chill pill, Bill. That's my great grandfather's name, actually. Pop up, where you at? Anyway, I took a chill pill and started chilling more. I did the things I wanted to do at least every once in a while when I could fit it in. And I'm ever so much better for it. I feel a lot better. I'm in a better place. I am completely elated. When stresses come at me, I know how to react in the correct and proper way. I'm not destroying myself. Things are easier now. I value my time much more and I give out a lot of no's now. I say no a lot more. I don't do things to satisfy people when I don't want to do it. And I'm so much better for it. My spirit feels better. My soul feels better. It feels almost as if I said yes. But, however, when I want to help this person now, I'm in a better position to help them out. I helped myself. Now I can help you out even more. It made me smarter. It made me think sharper. You need a ride? All right, I'm going to call you an Uber. Boom, boom, boom. I'll pay it. Get me back when you can, all right? Having unexpected car trouble? <laughs> Bet. I'm going to call AAA. The AAA membership I got on my day off. Where I read the literature well and I got to save 40% on my membership for the year. And they towed it straight to the shop. The shop fixed it. Boom. This is just a scenario. I have a mobile mechanic. He's a great guy. He's one of my favorite people on the planet. But, you know, this is just an example about how sharp you think when you have time for yourself. Doing nothing is vital for your health and your life. And I wish more people would value their time, their free time, and their health. It's so much better than having false productivity. I'm going to do a video on false productivity next week. But here's a little preface, all right? False productivity is doing something for the sake of doing it. Doing something for literally no reason. Just because you want to get things done faster. You want to look like you're doing something. You want to say that you're doing something so people don't think you're lazy. Or you want to reach your goal faster, which is it's not the way to do it. You're doing things aimlessly, hazardously. If I were to make eight beats a week, are them are they going to be great? Are they going to be something that a rapper can rap on and say, yeah, this is a hit of the year. This is something that's excellent. I could probably do that with different types of these instrumentals that aren't going to be used for anything. But if it's for an artist, I got to get a feel for it. I got to know where it comes from. If I were to write a song in 20, 20 minutes, is it going to be a great song? I could write a song in 20 minutes. It's just it's going to take a lot of editing in the end. Um, before I record it, before I send it out, I'm going to have to do a lot of chopping, adding, subtraction, <laughs> whatever. If I were to write a story in five minutes that has no topic, it's just literally me regurgitating words. I'm going to sound like one of those Instagram pages, <laughs> one of those poetry pages on Instagram. But um, some people have the natural talent to just write fast. I don't. 
trust me, if I were to write like 14 poems a week, I would have 10,000 followers on Instagram too. That's a slight dig. It's kind of mean. But however, that just goes to show you that doing things for no reason, doing things you don't want to, when you don't have to, gives a crappy result. And that's the point. We need to have good results. Not results that's going to lead to destruction, lead to nothing lead to a bad product and that's the point so yeah let's do a little bit of nothing i want you to do nothing this weekend all right let's find a little bit of peace in our lives and i give you my peace peace Hey, what's going on? So, yeah, that was that was doing nothing. I hope you liked me talking for the last 10 minutes about doing nothing because I just want to do nothing. And I totally maximized my time towards doing more of nothing by making the intro and the outro at the same time so I can maximize my time and dedicate more time towards doing nothing. You see how my mind works? It's like a laser. You know what I mean? Doing nothing has to have a precursor from doing stuff. And that's the kind of a point I was making before earlier, but I'm not gonna go into it. I didn't even record a video yet, to be honest with you. So I hope you had a fun time. I hope I fill in the blanks well. I hope I explain myself in a decent manner. Doing nothing, we're chilling.